Hello and welcome to another episode of Mushoku Tensei Explained. I'm Shergok, your host, and today we are taking a look into Roxy's and Rudius' relationship with another, and why Rudy respects Roxy to such an astonishing degree. But before we are going to do so, let me quickly thank my Patreons for supporting this channel, as well as say thanks to all users of the YouTube Thanks function for making one-time donations. And now with that said, let's get to the topic at hand. Rudy in his previous life had been a hikikomori who spent his days and years in isolation. And there was a reason for it. He had a deep-seated fear of leaving his house due to bullying and attacks on him at his old school. This led to him not leaving his parents' house for a decade until his own relatives had beaten him with baseball bats so that he may finally leave. So it had taken a lot to get him leaving his old home, and shortly after that, he took the Isekai taxi to the next life. But even though he was transported to a new fantastic fantasy world by Truck-kun, he wasn't magically healed all of a sudden from his past trauma. And despite having a good home and loving parents, he still had a paralyzing fear of the outside world. So although the house he lived in had now become bigger and friendlier, he still didn't want to leave it. That only changed when Roxy finally took him under her wings and led him outside, thus helping him to finally be cured of his past trauma. She, in the meantime, became an important figure of trust and respect and a role model for him. She was the one who taught him more magic, and since Rudy was obsessed with magic at this time, Roxy became a respected figure to him. And it wasn't just because anyone told him to respect your teacher, or that she was praised and seen as superior to him, but it was because Roxy earned his respect naturally through her magical abilities and the way she fought him. Of course, Rudy was also infatuated with Roxy as a woman. For him, while it had been years since he left his old life behind, it was still almost unbelievable that the woman was talking to him kindly. And Roxy also developed quite a lot of respect for Rudy as well, and all of his achievements, almost to an unhealthy and later destructive degree. And even though he had an advantage due to his knowledge from his old world, it had been his years of hard work, of studying, of expanding his mana pool, that finally allowed him to store enough mana and get a good hold on magic, so that he eventually could cast a Saint Class Water Spell after Roxy had showed it to him. So the respect for his teacher Roxy was also earned by Rudius. And this spell, Cumulonimbus, which created a storm cloud that decimated the surrounding area, was not only spectacularly animated in the anime, but also became important later on. And to be quite a bit more specific, while avoiding spoilers, the next level of this spell, or rather the King Tier class of it, likely served, together with Roxy Migurdia herself, as inspiration for one of the most iconic Isekai characters and one of the most iconic spells in Isekai. But that's a topic for another question. What? Hey, what? And to get back to the topic at hand, it was this attraction that Rudy felt combined with his genuine respect he had for Roxy's abilities and accomplishments, that led him to see Roxy as a kind of higher being. Later on, he practically worshipped her as a goddess. Naturally, the exploration of Rudy's feelings toward Roxy continues and it all will become important later. Because again, this is Mushoku Tensei, and as I said in other videos, Everything stays relevant, the story itself is well thought out, makes sense, and cleverly ties together all of the plot points and figures later on. And that's more or less the reason why Roxy Migurdia is so admired and literally worshipped as a goddess by Rudius. And with that said, I say thank you very much for watching. Write your opinions and comments down in the comment section and let me know what you think about my video and about Roxy and Rudy. And while you're doing this, I say thank you very much for watching and special thanks to Dash Dash Dash, Ada Daddy Ada, 
Bad Guy Ye, Bad Burrito 316, B. Zer, Ben C, Brandon D, Chrissy, Crowley 0221, Sia, Crystal Prime, Dead Slime, Death is Mercy, Deathless Dragonlord, Demon Xenomorph 1987, Devin Downen, Ding Dong, Dragonlord Plassi Du Saxophone, Duckwagon, Dunkler Krieger, Dystopia, Dystopia the Second, Enigmatic Unicorn, Thiralchivan, Guy with That Head, Hector Marino, Hoss, Huster, Jacob G, Jana B, Jason, J. Morris, Chromius, Kyle R, Lee K. Long, Legendarius, Le Louche Ribetania Wiffy Mustache, Lexus Fox, Lord Nishikian Rai, Lord Touch Me, Love Razor, Merovac, Mr. Shoes, Mr. Tweaker, Michael R, Michael Y, Nope, Oh Hell No, Normal Toad, Oh Kill, Overlord General Gasper, Paddy Pantom, Personage, Primus Eleven, Rhino Mir, QNA Caracos P, Shergox is Daddy, Shadow Lightning Wolf, Shrine Keeper, Super Tier Magic Batista Bomb, Supreme Cheese, Staris, Ted, Texas Deer, The Orc Warboss, Rocket Smasher, T.E. Wang, The Shawkeye, Vegito 27, Venture Fanatic, Wilhelm, Zinukai, and Zonagon. Thanks, guys. Anyway, have a nice day, and I hope to see you all again soon on my next video.